Starting now, this is Real People. Real issues, real news, real people. I'm Stephanie Allensworth, and this is Real People. This is Real People. Hi, welcome to Real People. I'm Stephanie Allensworth. We've got a very fun show today. We're talking about crystals and stones, and we have a fantastic guest with us, Christy Umbo. Uh, um Umbo? Umbo. Umbo. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, Umbo. And um, she is actually the founder of Holistic Arts, and she makes and crafts jewelry, but she also goes and um, procures stones. So, as you see, I've got this fine sampling of stones, some of which I bought from Christy. We also have Rocket's Red Glare bag with us again today, and um, she's going to be pretty much a standard, so you'll get used <laughs> to seeing her around. So thank you, ladies. Thank you so thank much for you. being here. Thanks for coming in to talk, because this is a fun one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a fun one. High mm -hmm. energy, and mm -hmm. and so, Christy, I'm going to start with you. What, what got you into jewelry, and what got you into stones? Sure. So I grew up in a bead store in California and next door was a metaphysical store and we were probably three girlfriends of mine 10 and 12 at the time and we all ended up working there through school and through college and um, went to school for fashion and was always drawn to the metaphysical side of things mm -hmm. and I got involved with an amazing couple um, Chuck and Patty Levitin they had a company called Synergy Seminars where they did guided meditation so I took that in college as an elective and got into Reiki and it kind of just went the ball went rolling mm -hmm. and uh, so shortly after that I met my husband and he was beginning to become an airline pilot and uh, some friends had gotten hired out here in Minneapolis and so we're like okay let's pack our bags and come on out and it was kind of like a fresh start where I got to start my company mm. and so the first year I just uh, I took a couple part-time jobs creative jobs at Pier 1 I managed for a little bit yeah. and did some fun stuff like that and uh, started doing some art shows and in the middle of that I met Echo Bodine mm -hmm. which is the, my fairy godmother and oh mm -hmm. my gosh mm -hmm. everything intuition mm -hmm. everything you know mm -hmm. right for the soul I yes. love that woman mm -hmm. and started taking her um, intuition and psychic development classes here in Minneapolis and it just grew and grew and grew and now that was 13 years ago oh my goodness yeah yeah and now I um I have the gift shop in her center mm -hmm. so whenever you come in and take classes oh. um, you can shop in th there or she has mm -hmm. a meditation night you can mm -hmm. come to and, and our monthly or palooza right which Stephanie comes to often okay. <laughs> and, well, um, when you say right in the middle of the center you are in the center I, of I the am center. in the middle of the center and then in the gift shop I kind yeah. I kind of spread out on yeah. that day. When you first walk in, all of her um, wares are what you see pretty much first. Yeah, it is. Yep. So if you've never been, you probably should go. It's really <laughs> fun. And so third Saturday of every month, mm -hmm. we have our Aura Palooza. Okay. So yeah, very fun. Uh, lots of readers and all kinds of different mm -hmm. people there too. There's right? the massage, yeah. there's numerology, there's um, acupuncture and there's readers mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah there's a little bit of everything whatever yeah. you need there's somebody there yeah and always food echo. oh and echo feeds everybody <laughs> yeah echo feeds everybody yes you're well taken care of yeah so it's so, just a wonderful place so making the jewelry yes. you just started well, I, buying stones and buying pieces and when I was working at the bead shop so we started probably about 12 years old mm -hmm. um, oh, sure. doing you know the the weavings mm -hmm. and the friendship bracelets mm -hmm. And, right. you know, we started doing that. And then um, I did some craft shows before we left. But now we, um, we're in 14 stores now here in oh, Minnesota. Wow. I didn't Wonder know that. Yeah. Wow. But, um, well, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can say the names. Or, um, well, Lo Lotus um, okay. Gifts and Jewelry in the Mall of America. Oh. And then we're in Anoka Massage Therapy. And then we're in a lot of um, acupuncturists and massage clinics. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, so kind of spread out everywhere. Well, I feel so honored to be ha having so many pieces that you've made. Mm -hmm. Like this is one of my favorites, like because it's got the spiral, mm -hmm. of course, and, and copper so and, grounding. And, yeah, yeah, and I, but I honestly don't know what all the other stones are in this. You got smoky quartz. That's a smoky. Okay. That is a smoky quartz, and then these mm -hmm. are Czechoslovakian glass, and oh. then they're knotted with um, cotton. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. So you knotted each one? Is it mm -hmm. not? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's quality, you know. Yes. When they're all slipping around, it breaks, know, and then right? you, you have to make it over yeah. again. Yeah. And, you know, it still does happen. We're human, and we wear our things until they do fall apart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's when the jewelry says, I'm done. Time yeah. for change. Time to retire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or if you lose it, it's like, well, where did it go? Well, it served its purpose. It moved on to somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way it mm -hmm. works. Yeah. So let's. I mean, a lot of these I actually bought from you. You did. You did. <laughs> so let's start <laughs> with a couple of these. I'm gonna, of course, take this big oh, beauty right here. Oh, lovely. This big uh, rose quartz. Ooh. Now we're just gonna go ahead and... That looks like uh, Madagascar I, to it me. Is, yeah. It I is. Can see the purple hue. It's almost like yeah. it looks like a light amethyst. Mm -hmm. I love oh Madagascar rosy. So go ahead and tell me what you feel there. Rockets. Oh it's so soothing it's and comforting. Love. Yeah I love it. And love it. rose quartz is a good replenishing stone. When yes. we give and we give and we give. Uh, and bring it back home. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Right back to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have in here. Um, I have a rather large piece of fluorite here. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't give it all away, huh? But, yeah. No, go ahead. Did I, you uh, know your stuff. Did I? <laughs> did, I'm not sure if I rem got this from you or not. I may have. I think you did. Well, I don't know. It's kind of. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, okay. Let's talk about this so, one. So, fluorite's extremely calming. Extremely calming and uh, brings balance, purifies. What do you feel about fluorite? I love fluorite because it's a scientist stone. Oh, uh, sure. You know, a lot of them look like little cities, mm -hmm. you know, the clusters of fluorite. Uh -huh. And so they really work with higher consciousness, and I just, just love it for And that depending reason. on the colors, they come in so many yeah. variations with yes, purple yes, yes, and yes. greens mm -hmm. and pinks. and. It's lovely. Yeah. It's a very cool raw piece. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was drawn to it. Mm. And I don't always know um, uh, what draws me to things. Um, generally, what'll happen is that I'll pick something up and all of a sudden I'll get the chills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go all through my and body. And that's how they <laughs> work, that, their energy. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. Um, yeah the vibration mm -hmm. matches mine, right? Exactly. That's, so, so what happens is your vibration, <laughs> as, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's I'm all getting them me. now. <laughs> <laughs> your, your vibration of your body goes into the crystal, the crystal mm -hmm. matches it in how this is supposed to be mm -hmm. delivered back to you. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like, whew, my face. Whew, yeah. You even get it under my face. So it's like That's we charge nice them to come back to us and yeah. they give us what we need. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, I used to sell stones for a while at the Wedge Co-op out, oh, outside for a few years I did. And what we found is that people are naturally attracted mm -hmm. to whatever it is they need. And a lot of times, um, uh, Mentally handicapped people would come and immediately be drawn right to the stone. Right. It's just really? right for them. Yeah, so the head doesn't really need to be that involved. Not at all. And yeah. you can have two of the same stone. Well, thank goodness for that, huh? <laughs> you can have two of the same Natural stone, senses. but you feel drawn to yeah. one more than the other. Mm -hmm. Right. It could be identical, but yeah. just because yeah. of its. Um, Frequencies. Yeah, yeah when, I, mm -hmm. when I see like a whole lot of uh, clear quartz sitting in, in a group, I generally will put my hand yeah. over it and feel mm -hmm. for the energy. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like I either get a sensation warm or cold, mm -hmm. sometimes the mm -hmm. tingling, sometimes something else, yep. you know. You might even feel like um, a little vortex mm -hmm. in your palm. Yes, yes. And that's how, I, that's how I go and look for things. I know people look at me like, what is she doing, you know, and I'm like, Rrr. And yeah, it's um, normal to us. So, okay. We're, we're talking <laughs> Talk about this. Calcite. This yes. is calcite. calcite. And I I one day decided mm -hmm. this winter that I needed some sunshine in my life, <gasps> but it looked like, it actually looks like Jupiter to me. It yeah. does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. You want to touch? Yeah. Touch, touch, touch. 
That's Aww. another good one. <laughs> you feel energy when these bright colored stones like citrine and then any of the carnelians are, um, mm. you feel it, you get like oh, a charge. Yes. Yeah, and yes. they charge, they tend to charge the other stones. They do, mm -hmm. they do. So they're like little batteries for <laughs> your other stones. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about how to clear your mm -hmm. stones too, because when they, they get a little worn, yeah, worn they out. Do. They do, can... they get bogged down and we've used them until they need a break. And, um, and some stones clear other stones too, like the quartz. You could put that next to another one by your floor right here, mm -hmm. and the quartz can clear it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a natural clearing stone. But some other things you could do is sage. Mm -hmm. uh, or Palo Santo, the holy wood. Oh, I yeah. love, love, that. love, love, love that. <laughs> my house is, oh my gosh, it's always got Palo Santo going. Um, or Florida water. And this is, um, I brought this one and it comes from Peru. Mm -hmm. Have you used this before? I have not. I, oh. I've read okay. about it. You get to try it. Oh, okay. I clear myself sometimes <laughs> with it. I just, I just, 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 go, just go, go down. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? Uh, yeah, it's very clarifying. Mm -hmm. mm. The, sometimes I just like shoot it up in the air above mm -hmm. me and then just do like oh, a little lovely. rain dance underneath it oh, <laughs> as it comes okay. trickling down. I that have, is wonderful. I met this, uh, yeah. this super, super awesome woman um, a couple months ago. I was doing a retreat and I had some Florida water there and she sprayed it and she just fell in love with it and mm -hmm. said, oh my gosh, I have to have this. Well, she took it to her studio where she teaches ah. and now it has become the scent of the studio. Okay. Like everybody knows like, oh, you've been there. Mm -hmm. You smell like it and it's just so okay. cool. But um, I mean, it's it's an array of different herbs. Yeah. And um, it's really nice because you don't have to burn it. Yeah. You can be in your car, you can be at your office at work and you yeah. don't have to worry about the fire alarm. Well, and, and some such. people are sensitive to smoke. And some people mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. With lung mm -hmm. problems and, and yeah. such. And that, that yeah. and I use it to clear my whole house. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. but of course, I use the sage too. Oh, I do all. And I, I do, do it all. I, I feel whatever I need. If it's a mm -hmm. quick spritz, we do this. Mm -hmm. Palo Santo is a daily thing. And if mm -hmm. it's deep, then I go to the yeah. sage. <laughs> I can never get the Palo Santo to stay lit. It, it's, it's a tricky one. <laughs> it's a tricky one. Oh, it's have, like you have to walk around with the lighter right? on Right. <laughs> right, right. Um, now they make these little cones. Do you know those like in the incense cones yeah. that you light? Uh -huh. They make them in Palo Santo. Oh, nice. I have them on my website. Okay. Oh, good. And okay. so you just and like, we, your website will, is going to be yeah, shown. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's holistic online. arts net and mm -hmm. then yeah you can go ahead and run a link there and awesome. do all the other fun stuff Pinterest mm -hmm. and Instagram and yeah. you know yeah try to reach all the people we can so rockets mm -hmm. yeah. um, I know <laughs> I, when I when I went into your house I saw stones everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> and so many like they're like you have oh. these amazing groups and collections oh, and, yes. and 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 I went home mm. and rearranged all of my <laughs> So talk about oh, yeah, your experience, your story. Your story. Well, <laughs> it started with this. I yeah. saw this in a dream. I had a, an ear infection. This is 1980. And, uh. Uh, uh, I saw this in his dream, and I saw a, an older woman with it. And I thought, wow, you know. Uh, the very next day, I was at the Aquatennial where they had vendors set up downtown, and I met Muriel Deneen, who used to sell stones at the Renaissance Center for many years. Oh. And in the Aquatennial, she was incredible. She had her own recipes for polishing to get a beautiful sheen on the stones. Uh, she processed lots and lots of stones. She had big polishes in her basement. Mm -hmm. I just fell in love Aww. right away. She, she and I became very close. I ended up with a house full like right away. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so this amethyst, she had it. <laughs> she had it Aww. and right away, $7. That's yeah. a deal. $7. Also well, 1980, what would Which it be now? My favorite number. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on my ear, and at that point, I didn't care what anybody thought. I went oh, to yeah. work for, an, you know, Lamenthal and Horwath at the time with the stone on my ear, and it healed it within like two days. How do you keep it on, though? Then oh, I just, just make, it, oh, I just you held it? Okay. Yeah. It's like you have to make an amethyst headband. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they do. I've seen them. Really? Just headbands with crystals oh, on them. Oh, sure. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, so. <laughs> She's I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You see the wheels turning. Okay, let's talk about your earrings, because oh. I have been. The, the, they're like little chandeliers. Well, these are actually oh, Vogel. They're cut in the Vogel style, the Vogel okay. crystals. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are so so they've really been cool. faceted uh, with a certain uh, a geometry mm -hmm. that channels healing energy that I just love and okay. a lot of people Beautiful. do. Yeah. And this gigantic one you wear. Oh, this is yeah. quartz. Isn't that a lovely quartz? It's beautiful. beautiful. It looks like yeah. a gigantic oh, diamond. It does. I was going to say, it's so, so fascinating. Like she's faceted. got the whole diamond there. <laughs> yeah, it's beautifully faceted. You are cleared, woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a transformational body worker as oh, well. So. so I do the layouts on people. I do yeah. the layouts of the I stones on the body. Yeah. It, I, and I'm thinking she's somebody Echo maybe should meet. You should. That, mm, yeah, yeah, I've met Echo. She doesn't know me. Oh, I've, I've okay. been to I've been to the, or the weekly or the monthly, monthly. thing. The monthly yeah, meditation. once or twice. Mm -hmm. I actually took a class from her. No, I saw it was on the TV program. It doesn't matter. It was quite a while ago. Mm, okay. We'll come back. Yeah. Yeah. Come visit well, us I, again. Uh, um, I I took the um, psychic development classes there too with her. Okay. Uh, it's been five years maybe. I yeah. Think. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, let's go back and talk some more about some goodies. Like I got, you know, it's funny you you left California, San, uh, Costa Mesa. Yeah, Costa, Costa Mesa. Mesa from Minnesota. <laughs> this one is a raw ruby. Oh, oh beautiful! Wow. And, and it came from. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the the little artist. Laguna Beach? No, it's not on the beach. It's uh, it's just um, uh, east of Hollywood. Mm. Uh, no, not Spanica. No, mm. I, but it doesn't matter. Okay. It's a, it, it's a very artsy area. Um, do you know where it originally came I, from? I do okay. not. I do not, but I picked this one up and I just went, oh, I think that's supposed to go home with me. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes. Oh. Wow, the size is amazing. Yeah, and, and, the and it was really color. reasonably bright. Ooh, and that's the thing with crystals, beauty. you know, you can have a pendant that size or, you know, a right. chunk that. They all yeah. do amazing work. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these gigantic yeah. guys down here. Since <laughs> yes. And, and because one of them had a baby, it looks like. Yes, my, my, my anniversary <laughs> present had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that, that came from... Where did you Brazil. say? Brazil. Brazil. And that looks like came, Arkansas, I uh, guess. Actually, it came from the Himalayas. Himalayas. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That real bright, it's a, clear. Actually, it's a Himalayan Reiki, Reiki stone. Oh, that, sweet. That two of them are. Mm -hmm. Is this great. one also Himalayan? No. No? Because that does not look like uh, Arkansas. Yeah, I don't know where that one okay. came from necessarily. Um, yeah. So, and we have this gigantic shungite mm. globe here. Oh, shungite. I had to talk about some oh shungite. Oh my gosh, okay, so. EMFs. Mm. EMFs. This <laughs> is your tool to block EMFs. So, cell phones, telephones, TV, computers, anything mm. that's bombarding us. So you can keep it next to your bed, at your desk, but they make them now with little magnets you could put on the back of your phone. Ah. So you could stop that. I mean, mm -hmm. the kids have them on their iPads. And uh, yeah. there's keychains, there's, I mean, there's so much. And I do the bracelets and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These I got from you as mm -hmm. well. <laughs> and earrings and, you know, yeah, a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I just want to do a little demonstration. Yes, yes. And how you can tell if it's real. Yeah. Oh, that that I can't. So cool. I, I love that. Yeah. Oh, so, right. this is a little flashlight. I, I have to use this one because that won't fit. Oh, in the sure. Back. Okay. So, flashlight. <laughs> um, turned it off. Take the back off. And you put your piece of shungite in there, and Hello. it lights. It lights. It lit up. It lights up. Mm -hmm. So it, it mm -hmm. conducts electricity, yeah. obviously, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's how you can tell if it's real. Mm -hmm. Now, I, when I was researching shungite, I came across that, and I said, I have to try that. And sure enough, I was amazed. It's mm -hmm. like I'm telling all my friends. Yeah. <laughs> because you know, sh I, whatever we can to do to block it. Yes, because well, next week we're going to do a deep dive into uh, Wi-Fi and the five G magnetic frequencies. Yep, and all the EMFs and the non-native ones. The non-native. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to be doing oh, a deep awesome. dive into that next week. Perfect. So yeah. We have to bring you this baby back. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, um, talking about blocking, um, one of the other things that I do is mirror jewelry. Yes. And mirror jewelry goes back years and years and years. You know, they when they uncover the Egyptians and all the stones in there, mm -hmm. the mirrors, they used it for protection. So uh, you can take it and wear it. You could put it, I mean, anywhere on your body. 
and it deflects mm -hmm. the energy mm -hmm. from people. So you're not mm -hmm. going to pick up their energy. It doesn't block the good stuff. Right. So you're mm -hmm. still getting that. But um, I've had so many people come through. I've had doctors, police mm -hmm. officers, mm -hmm. teachers. I mean, anybody that's really, really involved with a lot of people mm -hmm. in yeah. interaction um, can benefit from it. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's like probably 60, 70 percent of my businesses shift over to making mirror wow. jewelry. I love it. I, I, yeah. I, oh, yeah. You have oh, one you, on. How cool is that? I've yeah. been wearing those for years and years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you could feel it. You can. Oh, yeah. You know when you're not mm -hmm. and you're feeling, why am, why am I picking up this? Why am I feeling this mm -hmm. way? And I felt so good five minutes ago. Yeah. So, Who came into my... Into, into my, my space. My space. Yeah. Okay. Invaded my space. Mm -hmm. So that's been a really fun <laughs> one because on my Etsy page, I get a lot of traffic from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we've been going to Australia and Italy and... Do Oh, well, I, I do have some there yeah, in the so corner, we'll, we'll, we'll so show we can show some we'll pictures show some of it. Oh, but later. I have in my ears here. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little so. mirrors on, in your... Oh, sweet. They're so... They're, they're, they can be so discreet. Like oh, you sure. You don't have to have them on the outside. Right? And I have a lot of guys that you don't wear jewelry so much, mm -hmm. so I'll put them on a long leather mm -hmm. and then put it on like a stone or so, okay. and they'll, they'll just wear it under their, under their tops. Shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. so um, that's have, been really fun. I have a giant mirror. Well, it's not giant, but a good mirror that I keep at my desk at work, and I always have it facing away from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just don't, or your front door. You don't yeah. know who's coming to your front door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm thinking about getting uh, one of those doorbells. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. Um, let's, talk, uh, let's talk a little bit more. We still have some time here. So um, talk about what you're wearing, That this big piece here. What is? This is an agate here. Oh. And it's just a little encrusted mm -hmm. here. And then shells, so a lot of feminine energy. Mm -hmm. And um, kyanite. So oh, yeah. kyanite, oh my goodness. Oh, nice. It balances everything. Mm -hmm. It's another stone that doesn't need clearing as well. Mm -hmm. um, I've got amethyst, so that works really well for meditation and mental clarity mm -hmm. and calming mm -hmm. and just, and I just, I'm a, an Aquarian too, so oh. I'm very fond of it. Mm -hmm. And then I've got chakras over here, mm -hmm. so the seven chakras of your energy. Okay. Uh, I've got one for each of those, and then I do a lot with um, aromatherapy jewelry oh, too. Sure. So you can take. I, I have some lavender on today. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So whatever yeah. you're feeling, and my my little one, she's in kindergarten. She and her little girlfriends at school are obsessed with these. Oh. I made them with three little stones. Uh -huh. So you just put a little drop on them, and they go uh -huh. off to school, and it's. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's zen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and lavender is and lavender is a oh, good calming yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, let's see here. Um, we were going to talk about the big, the geode, and your big, uh, your big crystal. My now. quartz, your yeah, big quartz. You, you got that. <laughs> where, where exactly do you keep that in your? <laughs> that, that is um, on my mantle in my living room. Nice. On your mantle? Yeah, it's a low cut. Oh. It's a, it's a wide one. It's okay. kind of like under the pictures and stuff. Um, it sits right there. Oh my goodness. And I just got mm -hmm. it last month. Like I said, it was my anniversary present. So it's, mm -hmm. the house is too, too. Yeah, no kidding. Super high energy. And, and then the amethyst. 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 So amethyst is, comes from crystals. Mm -hmm. It comes from quartz, I should say. And um, back again to just really calming, helping mm -hmm. your meditation practice. And it's also a stone of sobriety. Yeah. So a lot of people mm. that are going Detox. through detoxing, yeah. they'll wear amethyst and it helps to get through it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it goes with, with your third eye and so it's a fabulous stone. I think this is one of the first stones. I, I think it you. is. Oh, yeah. Okay. This, this beauty. This is a giant beauty. Yeah. I. Uh, I've been keeping this one close to me for a very long time now. Mm. I think I've got, what, three three years ago? Uh, at least, yeah. Like it's been a it's while. It's got wonderful energy in it. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Oh, I love the mm. rich uh, yeah. <laughs> the amethyst with the big points and the deep color. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's and amazing. This geode is awesome, though. My goodness. Mm. I just took heavy. it from my, my gift shop, mm. so it's still yeah. for sale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how much does that weigh? That one's one, oh, um, probably 15, 15 pounds? pounds. And that one is about Probably 60? 50 or 60. 50 or that 60. was a mother load. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I mean, that is amazing. Oh, like, I haven't even touched it yet. Yeah, you've got to go I, play with it. Yeah. Wow. What? 
maybe when we're over. Yeah, when we're done. When we're done. But yeah, I mean, when we're put, over. put your jewelry and and even if it doesn't have stones in it necessarily, if it's just you know mm -hmm. like your copper bracelet, mm -hmm. it's gonna still need clearing. Yeah. So uh, and uh, quartz like that, you could just go set it on top of and. Oh, mm -hmm. so okay. anything that you carry throughout the day mm -hmm. that could be yeah, you could heavy. you could actually put quite a bit on there. You could, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I can't wait to start taking pictures with it. I'm so <laughs> right, excited. Really? You, can, you can charge people to take <laughs> pictures with it. <laughs> charge. <laughs> <Don't run>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> But I didn't even mean that. I know, right? Well, we're ticking down a little bit here, but I think we have just a little more time. How about a nice lapis? Yeah, I've been looking at them mm -hmm. the whole time. <laughs> lapis is so awesome for mm. the throat chakra. Mm. So spiritually, it's very good for speaking your truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. And physically, it helps with your thyroid. Okay. So it can help balance your hormones. Wow, such a beautiful blue. Isn't that a, so deep blue? Oh, I, oh my. And then it's got the little bit of um, pyrite, pyrite yeah, on usually, the inside, yeah. yeah that yeah. is beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah. And selenite. I've been playing a lot with selenite lately. She's got these little wands here. Mm -hmm. And they actually uh, disintegrate. So don't oh. get these wet. Oh, yeah. That's how they shape them. But mm -hmm. it's really, really great stone for um, your bedroom for dreaming mm -hmm. and clearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had a lot of people be interested in selenite lately. Yeah, the angel stone is what I, I call that. Oh, sure. Um, and I have that lovely necklace. I didn't wear that one, but I have that necklace that I bought from mm -hmm. you. So, again. So we're, we're ticking down here. I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, I mean, we've got about 20 seconds left, so I just want to say thank you for oh, being here and sharing, oh, yes. sharing all your good wisdom with us. And thank you again, Rockets, for oh, being here. And, I can't wait and, to and, hear about next week. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it, right? All righty, we've got to wrap it up. Thanks for being here. Thanks for thank keeping you. it real thank with you. real people. See you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>